Alright, hey guys, it's Aiden here, and today's week's topic uh, is how we chose our name. Uh, the way that I chose my name, I basically went to uh, Google, searched uh, names, baby names, found a baby name site, and just started looking through names. Uh, the, the popular names, I think, when I came out in 2010 were Emmett, Jacob, Edward, uh, because of the movie uh, Twilight, the Twilight movie. So those were uh, fairly popular names when I went to look for my name. When I finally chose the name Aiden, I chose it because I liked the meaning of it. Um, I did, however, pull up a uh, a thing that shows me the meaning of the name, and the name Aiden. Um, pronounced Aiden uh, is a diminutive form of the name Aid or meaning fire and would imply born of fire. It became a popular name in honor of Saint Aiden of Iona who found a famous monastery in the island of uh, Lindstrand uh, which he used as a base to evangelize the north of England. In, in art, Aiden is usually represented as a stag, or a reference to the legend that he saved a deer that was being hunted by making it invisible. Um, it's a boy male name. It's an Irish name. Um, and it's pronounced Aiden in English. So, I just looked it up just to tell you the meaning of my name. So it means little fire basically and uh, to put it simply I chose my name because it's like a passion, passion for a new life, fire for a new life, I don't know. I, I, it's so cheesy but it's true. Like I, sh I chose that name because it had a meaning behind it. It, it wasn't made up. And I know that Aiden is a fairly popular name in the trans community, and it bothers the shit out of me. Like, it's not necessary for every guy to cho choose the name Aiden. But, you know, I it, it, whatever, you know, like, whatever you choose your name to be, make sure that you like it. And, you know, that's all I can say. Like, I liked my name, I liked the name Aiden, so I went with it. Um... So that's, on, that's also how I knew it was the right name for me. Uh, I have not got my name legally changed to Aiden yet. Number one being, I don't have money to slap down $500 just to, you know, change my name legally right now. I mean, okay, I do now, but I'm saving for top surgery also. I mean, that's just as important to me as legally changing my name. So I'm doing both. I'm saving for both, hoping to actually have my name changed by the end of this year. Though, um, don't know how well it'll work out, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, that's how I chose my name. It was very complicated because I went through many, 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 many names. Uh, I liked the name uh, Evan a lot, um, spelled E V A N. I liked that name a lot, but I just, I bounced my ideas off of a girlfriend that I had then, and actually I'm in a relationship again with now. Um, I bounced those ideas off of her, and I asked her, you know, what do I look like to you? Like, what name do you think suits me best? And I was like, do I look like an Evan? And she's like, no, I don't really like that name. And I was like, what about Carter? And she's like, no, you don't really look like a Carter either. And then I was like, what about Aiden? And she's like, I like that name. You look like an Aiden. And then I was like, well, what do I make my middle name? And we're like, crap. So, you know, like that's another thing is that you don't have to change your middle name. You can leave it. But my middle name was very feminine. So I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it's very feminine. And I changed my middle name as well. Which, funny to think that my middle name will be Lee, L-E-E. -E, and my step family's middle name is Lee. 
as well as my mom just told me the other day that my great grandfather and grandmother's middle name middle names were Lee. So I had no clue of that until she just said that, which you know I guess is kind of a coincidence maybe. But that's how I chose my name. Um, you don't have to change your middle name or your first name, but I chose to do both because both were very feminine and I wanted to also get away from the feminine part of me, obviously, since I'm transitioning. Another thing that I wanted to touch base on is when you try to choose your name, choose something that's not so similar to your original name because I noticed a lot in our community that, like, let's say your name was, uh, like, for instance, Caitlin. Don't, don't pick a name that's so close to Caitlin, like, uh, Caden. It's a K. And I believe that your family will have a lot of issues with that because, um, it's a similar first vowel or first con consonant, gosh, um, and it starts with a k sound. So Caden, Caitlin, you know, like they just don't pick something that's so similar that your family will have a terrible time with it. Because as it is, my family has a terrible time remembering Aiden and going by the right pronoun. Let alone if I had changed my name to you know something similar to my birth name they would have been so screwed up, like, it just would have messed with their head. So, I mean, just for purposes of your own, don't make it any harder for yourself when you don't need it to be, you know. Don't make it harder for others either. <laughs> uh, that's all that I can really give you for name advice and how I chose my name. So, um, I hope that, uh, oh gosh. Um, I hope that you guys took something from this video and that I didn't ramble too much. And uh, I will be making another video next week on Thursday. So I will see you then. Peace.